This is not correct because it's wrong. Yeah, circular reasoning. Okay, today we are going to talk about best friend again. And who's our best friend? Of course, the one only one over one minus x. It's on my shirt. It's in our heart. So don't ever forget about best friend. Unfortunately, though, when we talk about best friend, we usually just talk about the center at a equal to zero, and then we get all this right here. But have you guys ever wondered what happens if we move the a to a different place? So in this video, I will show you our best friend center the at three, right? And you also see that the radius of convergence will also change, right? So pay close attention to that. First of all, why don't I do the center at one? Leave a comment down below and let me know. And in the meantime. Go hit that like button. Thank you guys so much. Second question, right? Second thing I want to point out. Well, yes, when we see a is equal to three, and based on the Taylor series form, you want to see the x minus a right to the sum power. This right here, a common mistake is that people just put the x minus three right here and then say this is n goes from zero to infinity, and then they plug in x minus three here and then raise to the nth power. This right here. It's not good. This is not the power series expansion for one over one minus x centered e s three. That's not correct, right? Why? Because, well, I'm not going to say because it's wrong. Well, it, it, that's the easy answer. This is not correct because it's wrong. Yeah, circular reasoning. Anyway, <laughs> let's begin with one over one minus x. You have to do the algebra carefully. The reason that this is wrong is because people simply put x minus three to here. That's not a function anymore. You will see, people will just think that okay, we we'll put one over x minus three. This turns out to be what a completely different function. This is one, and then minus minus three becomes three, so it's a four, and then you have minus x. This and that are totally different. That's why this is wrong, right? It's not because of circular reasoning. This is. Wrong because it's incorrect. Anyway, here we go. I want a to be as three. Yes, I still want to see the x minus three part, right? And yes, you can also do the Taylor formula. The dad will take 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 care of you. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. I'll show you how to do it. So here we go. I want the ones to stay on the top. But instead of looking at this x, and you see, originally you have x and x. It's the saying x minus zero. That's why the a was zero, the center a was zero. If the a is three, I want to see x minus three, all right? But this and that are totally different now. It's okay though because we can just do some algebra to make them equivalent. That's why you see earlier if you just simply plug in x minus three here and here, this is not this at all. It's not our best friend. It's a fake one. That's no good. All right, enough talking. <laughs> this is a minus x. That's why I want to fix first, because here I have plus the x. That's no good. So I'm going to negate that. But keep in mind, the x minus three have to be together. So I will put that in the parentheses. And right here, you see, this is actually negative x plus three. Well, I have a one right here. This is a plus three. So what do I need to do? Yes. I can just put on a minus two here because minus two plus three is positive one, so you can just do the algebra to go from here to here, and they are still equivalent. Okay, I still want to utilize our best friend right here. In order to do so, I want this one right here, this one right here, and this minus here. But unfortunately, we have a minus two here. It's okay. Just do more algebra. Let me show you. Put on equal sign, and then. I will just factor out the negative two, right? So we get the one on the top still, and then let me put on the negative two right here in the denominator, times the one is still on the top over. I factored the uh, negative two, so this will be a one, and then this was negative, but I did factor out negative as well, so it becomes positive. But in order for us to use our best friend, I need to see the minus. Therefore, let's look at the plus as minus minus. So I'll write down a minus here, and then another minus. And you have to remember, originally we have this quantity, but we did factor out this two, 
we took care of the negative already. But for the two, we will have to divide this quantity by two, right here, like this. And I'll put this in a parentheses, and then another parentheses. And the truth is, this right here is still equivalent to our best friend. It just looks different. This is much cooler looking, of course. Okay, we can continue. First, we have the 1 over negative 2 all the way in the front, so we will just do that. We'll keep it as how it is. And the next part is, we see the 1, 1, negative. We have the 1, 1 right here, right? You see 1, 1 minus. Therefore, I can just plug in this to here because it matches the form. So, this right here becomes the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity. And then I'll just put this right here for the x. And then you open up to a parenthesis, so we have all that. Negative, I will write it as negative 1 over 2, parenthesis x minus 3, all right? And then I'll put that in parentheses, raise that to the nth power, just like that. Okay, another thing you have to know is you should also plug in this right here so you can also figure out the radius of convergence. So from here to here, it's just pretty much applying all that. That's all. And now the rest is just fix this right here. So let's focus on this right here first. We have 1 over negative 2. And then this is the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity. For this part, let me write it as negative 1 to the nth power, right? And then we have over 2 to the nth power like this. And then this right here is just parentheses x minus 3 raised to the nth power, right? And just for simplicity purpose, maybe I'll bring the negative to the top because this will match the numbers better. Well, I can just bring the negative with this and then bring the 2 with that. So finally, what we have is the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity. On the top, this is negative 1 raised to the n, and then of course you add the power, so it's n plus 1. But if you had the minus down here earlier, it becomes n minus 1, but that's the same, okay? It doesn't matter for this situation. Over, well, this is 2 to the first, 2 to the n, so we have 2 to the n plus 1 power. So this right here is the coefficient sequence, and then you multiply by x minus 3 raised to the nth power. So this right here is the power series expansion for our best friend, the center at 3, right? So that's what we have. And of course, we should also figure this out real quick, right? So let's see. Negative in the absolute value doesn't matter, and then we have this, right? So in fact, we can just multiply both sides by 2. So you see this is just the absolute value of x minus 3, multiply both sides by 2, so this is less than 2. That's pretty much it. Very nice. R is 2, right? The radius of convergence is 2. And now for the interval of convergence, this is what you do. The center is S3. You are going to go to the left 2 units, and you are going to go to the right 2 units. Well, you can solve this inequality up to you. So, 3, go to the left one, uh, 2 units, you have 1. Go to the right 2 units, you have 5. And then you don't include the endpoints, just like the original version. So you put the parentheses, parentheses. So this right here is it. Right? This is the best friend. Center D at 3. Here is the technical part that you have to remember. When you move the center to a different place, you may end up with a different radius of convergence, right? Just like this, because originally our best friend R was 1 for him, right? But once you move it to A equal to 3, R becomes 2. And you might be wondering, is it the 2 because, okay, in fact, X cannot be 1, right? Because otherwise you get a 0 in the denominator. X cannot be 1. And then, well, the center is 3. The distance between 1 and 3 is 2. Yeah, sure. But that's not true all the time. It's just a coincidence in this case. Because another example for you guys is this one. Let's look at the function 1 over 1 plus x squared. And you see the domain for that function is all real numbers. And let's look at the power series expansion at 0. You see that's right here. And the r for that is 1. And to do that, you can just plug in negative x squared into this x right here from our best friend. You can just work that out. That's fine. 
However, if you look at the power series expansion for 1 over 1 plus x squared at a equal to 1, this is the power series now. And the radius of convergence is actually square root of 2. Ah! Right? And unfortunately, there's nothing that you can do like this right here from our best friend to get that. Maybe I'll do another video for you guys. But that's the point. When you move the A around, you have to be really careful with the radius of convergence. Sometimes this might still work nicely like this, but just like the 1 over 1 plus x squared situation, you really have to do more work to figure out the radius of convergence. So hopefully you guys all like this video, and let me know if you guys have any questions, and if you guys haven't done so already, please subscribe and give me the like. Thank you guys so much, and as always, that's it.